Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and Merry Christmas to all. How's everyone and hopefully everyone is enjoying their festive week. I definitely enjoy mine too after a lengthy two weeks off from golf because COVID actually caught up with me. I could say I have recovered now. Uh, just gotten back into the game and I realized it is so much harder to play as I hardly catch my breath. You know, after a few holes, you know, I really have to stop and rest. My body is still weak and I really still I need to strengthen my body back by going, in, going to gym. Alright, let's move on with our last tournament of the year. This was the club championship held in Royal Perak. And of course, this was before COVID. Apologize as there is some audio issue here, so I will try to narrate the entire vlog. On the first day, I actually shot 87, <laughs> one of my uh, poorest game ever played for the year in a tournament, and also partly I'm not shooting for the day. So just feeling very weird not having the camera on me. Regardless, today with zero expectation, just hoping to shoot some good score here. And I have my cameraman here, Eugene, aka KD for the week. Thank you so much for helping out. So let us begin our first hole for the day. It's a par 5 and without warming up, as I was not having any expectation anymore, so I'm a bit more relaxed and calm for the round. Not hitting a very good tee shot here, just slightly left under the trees. Nothing more than a fancy second shot here. So what I'm trying to do here is just punch it out for a good three on. Gotten my Christmas gift early this month, hitting past the 1k subscriber now. Thousand appreciation to all the subscribers there. You make my day and hopefully more better content to come around. As you can see, it's a very good buddy to start up with on this hole. I can tell you a secret here, I did not have any birdie chance as close as this the entire round yesterday. So moving on to the next hole, it's a par 4, a very good power drive down the middle of the fairway. So looking here, it's a full 52 here. Human do me mistake time to time. Alright, so I topped that shot pretty badly here and it's into one of the bunker before the green. On this particular third shot here, I hit it very aggressively. It's, it's a very aggressive shot. It was over the green after the first bounce. Not too great of a chip here. And... A double bookie on the scorecard. To drop me back to one over after two. What? On the third hole, my favorite... Using my favorite hybrid here. Anything left is a no-no, but still, I just can't control my swing here. My ball actually went left and into trouble. Looking at the position here, not a very good line after all. Hoping to clear the tree by playing a, a draw shot here. And somehow you found the green. And this is for buddy. A two part here for par, definitely a good score. Moving on to the 4th hole here, consider this as the hardest par 3 hole, 180 meters small green with a 6 iron. I flushed that shot, it could be really really close, I will take that any day. And I make that birdie, summing up with the second birdie of the day, 4 holes, 2 birdie, not a bad start after all. Then on the 5th hole, my nemesis hole, I hooked that drive so bad and it went so left to the next uh, next hole. So I was hoping to play my second shot onto the next fairway, but somehow I had elected to go back to our own fairway by punching the shot out. There's too much of a power here, eventually the ball ran out of fairway and into the hazard. So I'll be dropping and playing for here, fourth shot. Knowing I could have another double bogey soon as I walk away from this hole. Just put my ball somewhere on the green. Just somehow I read the line correctly and make that long bogey part. So definitely my putting is somewhere 
in a better position than before than uh than the previous day so just hoping it will stay that way so on the next hole i flush my drive down the middle once again and leaving myself a very short approach in as i was between clubs very undecisive leaving myself in a very difficult position to for a chip here but somehow managed to chip it well and leaving myself a good pass safe on this hole so moving on the next hole i flush my drive once again down the middle leaving myself about 40 meters chip here almost roll that second shot in for eager giving myself yet another chance for my third birdie for the day good part good read and my ball roll into the cup so this is my third birdie for for the round so moving on to the next hole still even power for the day with a seven iron here hit it well it's on to the green so putting for another birdie chance Yep, not to be greedy here, just two part, move away with a part. On the very last hole, it's a very long par 5. It's about 520 meters here. Nothing more than a, a good drive. Found a fairway once again. And by looking at the distance here, it's about 220 meters to the front edge. So I'm going to lay up here with a 7 iron here. And hopefully, 3 on and move away with a par. So sum up, it's a, it's a par, par hole for, for this 9. And even for the round, that's a very good achievement for me. And moving on to the next 9. On to the 10 hole, another par 5. A reasonable 2 good shot here will reach the green in 2. And I bowl my drive once again down the middle. Looking very positive again with this 9. I was thinking to put my second shot as close as possible to the green for an easy birdie here. Somehow just slice my shot slightly to the right. Giving myself a 30 plus meter chip onto the green. Just somehow too much of a power here, leaving myself over the green. So, did not uh, shoot the fourth shot here. This is for par. And miss my par. So, a drop shot here on the 10 hole. A easy par 5, just, just some accumulation mistake on my third and fourth shot. But it's all right, I'm still good. On to the 11 hole, it's a... Uh, Index par 4 here, we need a good drive to cross the drain. The drain is never an issue for me, so I just do what I need to do by hitting a very good shot. But instead, it slides to the right under the trees here. Going for the green with a punch shot here with a 6 or 7 iron, I couldn't remember. But somehow just... Slightly short of the green. So this is my third shot here. Trying to put it as close as possible to secure my, my par. It's a left to right shot. I will take that any day. Just need to work it out for my par. A good par save here on the 11 hole. Moving on to the 12 hole. It's a short par 3. I uh, just needed perhaps a pitching or a 9 iron here. And I was looking for the... I was excited for the hole in one because there's a car given if you secure a hole in one here. Somehow I pulled that shot so left to the extent that it reaches uh, the left bunker on the left side. 
while walking into to my ball uh seeing my, my ball condition here it's a uh, we call it the telomata you know there's a plug in the bunker and you can't afford to do any mistake here so i close my club face try to hit it out as long as the ball is on the green i'm pretty happy with it so leaving myself a long power part here just put the ball as close as possible to walk away with another bogey rather than a double so a good bogey safe here moving on par 4 one of the hardest hole here which i don't really like this hole using a driver here push my driver way right and i have to look for the ball i actually played another provisional ball here but i did not show because i found i, I actually found my my first ball have a gap here just try to punch it as close as possible to the green and hope for one chip one part here so using a 52 here try to bounce it in the distance is okay just never read the, the green properly here leaving myself a five four to five feet par par safe This is what? my first miss part here for this distance for, for the day. So another drop shot to drop me to 3 over for the day. So this is a 7 iron part 3. Not a very difficult one but somehow I think I doubt that shot a bit here. Leaving myself so short and trying to oh, no. chip it. Trying to bump and run here. Somehow just caught the rough there and now this is for par not a very good start on the back nine as opposed to the front nine another bogey another drop shot here to drop me to four over so five holes i've dropped four shot here not a very good one this is a short par five 450 meters here and again i was trying to do a power fade here left to right but instead i push it so right and somehow i have to hit another pro ball was lucky to find my ball because the referee is there and with a little gap here using a pitching wedge try to hit it back out onto the fairway so this is probably about 100 meters in this is my third shot here hit it well very solid contact here Somehow the ball just couldn't stop. Partly I think it's because of the, cow, the the grass condition that we are having here because the grass is more like a cow grass. Somehow you can catch a flyer and with zero spin. This is for buddy. I was trying to get a relief here but somehow it is not given. So I have to putt as it is. Just making sure I two putt here. Being very aggressive with the, with the buddy putt just now. So trying to clean this up. Yep. Needed that so much. Alright. Taking out my driver once again. This time hit it well. Very severe headwind. I was thinking to tee up, tee up with a 5 iron. But somehow just go with the driver here. So my second shot leaving myself probably about 70 meters in. And hit the, hit the green one bounce and to the to the back of the green and this is a reasonable chip here i would say to secure another uh, normal par for me so coming up two more holes and i would say this is the longest par four for royal para really flush that drive down the middle because this is a right to left par four so for my distance, I should have actually aimed slightly to the left a bit, but it's all okay here. The tree is not distracting and it's on the green. So, parting for birdie here. Oh, missed that. Pretty happy with that. To walk away with another par here. Still four over for the round. Moving on to the very last hole. My nemesis hole here once again, but somehow just bow my drive. 
slightly to the left here i actually took another pro ball imagine i have taken so many provisional ball for this nine just to be safe found my first ball here so probably about 70 meters in as well leaving myself yet another golden chance to finish up with a birdie here haven't got anybody on the back nine but yeah hopefully this this counts that's all for the last tournament of the year shooting 76 on the final day hopefully you guys have subscribed to the channel if not just click on the subscribe button below like and do some comment uh, at the comment section that's all for the year of 2022 i'll see you next year peace